Hello and welcome to day three of our five day rowing challenge. This is the hump day. What we've done so far, we've learned our basic movement, we've learned about our machine, and we've learned how to apply pressure. Now today, we're gonna look at how we can control the number of strokes we take each minute. After today, we're gonna have complete control over this machine. So, before we complicate things, let's just recap on what we've done before. We're gonna get our feet in, making sure our straps are at the right height. We're gonna check our setting is on six. We're gonna press menu, just row, and then our second button down from the top, the second blank button. Let's go for about two minutes. I'm gonna go today from the front. I'm gonna push those legs back, open those hips, and pull through the arms. Off we go. Just thinking about that sequence. We're starting that drive with the legs, almost leaving the shoulders forward before whipping them through. Shoulders are forward. Similar to before, don't worry about how hard we're working here. Just moving, observing your graph. Seeing if you get that nice smooth shape. Nice. So we're moving a little bit, we're getting comfortable now with the machine, getting comfortable with the movement. Arms, hips, legs, legs, hips, arms. The other thing we did yesterday was we worked on how fast back this way we go with our stroke. Let's remind ourselves of that. I'm going to take 10 strokes firm keeping the stroke rate the same. We're gonna do that in three, in two, in one. Here we go, 10 firm strokes. There. Good, and again. Letting it flow on the way forward. Explode on the way back. Flow on the way forward. Last three. Last two. And last one. Good job. So, what we worked on yesterday was the speed from the front to the back of the stroke. So the speed backwards. Today we're going to look at the speed forwards. Up until now we've been going pretty slow. We're going to see if we can increase that. Hmm. <laughs> so, we're going to go light, just like we did in that first sort of minute and a half. And then together we're going to start increasing the speed forward. I'll talk you through the whole thing. So we'll go for about two minutes. If you're breathing hard already, don't sweat. All right, nice and light. Grab the handle and roll. Nice. So we're starting off with that 18 strokes a minute. Nice and light, I don't, don't need to work hard. But what we're gonna start doing is letting the hands move away from the body quicker. And by doing that, we've gone from 18 to 20. Nice. Gonna move the hands a little quicker and let that body rock forward that little bit quicker. Now we're at 22. We're still light. But we're just taking more strokes. This is Lily, by the way. <laughs> Lily likes to say hi. Okay, now we're going to speed up the slide. Nice. 
Now we're up to 24. Good. And that's as fast as we're going to go for today. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, don't worry if you felt like that was too fast. That's okay, we'll practice a little bit more. We're gonna do the same format as yesterday. We'll go one minute at a higher stroke rate, one minute back at our 18, one minute at our 24, one minute at our 18. So, same uh, thing on our monitor today. We're gonna go menu, select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time, zero one, zero zero, all the other zeros, and then press the tick. Good job, I'm gonna strap those feet in. Pull the straps tight. Let's start off 24 strokes a minute. Three, two, one. Our focus today is on moving forward. Arms, hips, legs. Arms, hips, legs. If we can separate moving fast from moving hard, then we'll have full control over our machine. Good, because this is light. We're thinking about spinning the wheel on a bicycle. Our bicycle's turned upside down. We're just tapping, tapping, tapping the wheel to keep it spinning. Okay, and then patience on the way forward now, patience. Good, still light with our strokes. Just patient on the way forward. Good. And by keeping the same pressure at your stroke, we'll find that at 18, our split is slower than it was at 24. And that's just because we're taking six less strokes in the minute. Good, we'll get one more practice at this. So we're gonna ramp it up to 24 and then we'll ramp it back down again to 18. Three, two, one. Here we go. Forward. Forward. That's it. That sequence, arms, hips, legs. Legs, hips, arms. We can make that movement efficient. Everyone's gonna be a doddle. We're gonna get way fitter, way stronger. Nice effort, 20 seconds. Don't worry if it feels like it's going too high and then too low. It does that for me too. Over time, we'll get more consistent. And patience on this one. There. Good, patience. Well done. That's tricky. So today we focused on 
how fast we go forward to control our rate. Yesterday, we focused on how fast we go back to control our pressure. Special bonus points if you can guess what we're doing tomorrow. You got it. I'm going to stick the two together. We're going to look at how we can control the speed forward and back to go from super easy to a little bit more intense to pretty uncomfortable to pretty unsustainable. <laughs> Alrighty. That is our rowing done for today. All we got to do, finish off with a little stretch. Hopefully you're familiar with this by now. We're going to do that sitting on our seat. We're going to place an ankle on our knee. And at the moment, this might be where you're at. That's okay. We're going to try and sit tall and push that knee down. You're going to feel that stretch kind of in your bum. And if you need to, you can always lean forward more to get a more intense sensation. Same as always, this cool down. Let's bring that breathing back down to normal again. Nice. And uh, we'll change the side. That's it. Good work, going well. Breathing that, bringing that breathing back down to rest. I'm trying to think through what we've done in the past three days. We've achieved a lot in a short space of time. Totally normal if you feel a little bit overwhelmed. Anytime you learn something new, it's gonna seem like there's just lots to learn. And the only way we can really process that is by practicing it. So that's why we get a little bit of practice each day. And, you know, a week, a week is a long time, but it's also not a long time. So we're going to touch on the ideas this week. And then in the subsequent weeks, that's when we practice more and more until we're mastering this thing. All right. Good job, bang. Thank you once again for joining me. Really enjoyed having you along. And uh, I'm going to hang out with Lily here. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Shoo.